In tonight's Capital Connection, most of Virginia's June primary elections are still about a month away, but some key Republicans' races were decided over the weekend. Capitol Bureau reporter Jackie DeFusco is live in the Digital Center with where things stand and what voters need to know. Jackie. Hey, Eric. Well, between recently redrawn congressional lines, different nominating contests in each district, and new state voting laws, you should double check the details to make sure you don't miss your chance to cast a ballot. Congressional candidates now narrowing in Virginia ahead of a high stakes November 8th general election. Republicans are really looking at this fall's election as a chance to take back control of Congress and to really be able to put a monkey wrench in any plans for Democrats to get anything done over the next two years. Political analyst Rich Marr says over the weekend, three congressional districts chose who will compete for Republicans. In the 5th District, incumbent GOP Representative Bob Good came out on top. Winning in the eighth, Karina Lipsman, a former defense and intelligence professional. And in the biggest upset of the weekend, another political newcomer, retired U.S. Navy Captain Hung Chow, besting 10 Republican candidates for the nomination. We're going to unite this district like it's never been united before. Now moving on to challenge Representative Jennifer Wexton, the incumbent Democrat. It suggests that Republican voters are interested in embracing new faces, maybe not new policies. Picks from both parties remain undecided elsewhere, with early voting already underway ahead of June 21st primaries. Considered most competitive, the 2nd and 7th districts, where a pack of Republicans are vying to run against two vulnerable Democrats, Representatives Abigail Spamberger and Elaine Loria. I do think that Republicans have a really good shot of unseating either or both Spamberger or Luria. So that brings a lot of challengers. And these purple swing districts are really important in the national battle for control of Congress. And remember, congressional districts were recently redrawn for the first time in a decade. So it means you could very well have a new representative. Couple important dates. You can vote early in person at a local polling site through June 18th or request an absentee ballot by mail through June 10th. Much more information about this on our website, WRIC.com. Live in the Digital Center, I'm Jackie DeFusco, 8 News.